Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video. I am Aditya. In this video, we will see Pinia, which is a view store and very close to UX. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so when I say very close to UX, it's actually, uh, it's said in the documentation somewhere, I read that when UX 5 will come, it will have uh, the structure or very close similar structure to Pinia. And actually Pinia is actually very simple to use than Vuex. So story like the concept is fantastic the plugin is fantastic and uh it's if you see even the documentation like the usage is also very simple so let's see how to use it so let's install it in our view project so i will say npm install pinia uh actually it's pinea <laughs> i'm not sure let me know in the comment section how is the pronunciation i guess it's pinea because it's pineapple so let's call it pinea so after we install pinea then next thing we need to do is so in the last video we created the counter using vuex so if you haven't seen my video please do check that video as well but now what we need to do is just create a new pinea store and then try to use it in our project so let's begin okay so I already have a store folder here created which was created uh, during the vuex video so what we are going to do is we'll create our pinea store inside this store folder generally that's what you need to do you just need to create it inside the store folder so here as you could see uh, it won't have an index.js or modules or whatnot all you have to do is whatever your store is just name the file according to that so in this case i will call it just because i already have a vuex store of counter.js if i didn't have this counter.js i would have simply called my pinea store as counter.js as well but as i already have it i will just call it pinea counter.js just to make difference between those both now i'll also open at the same time this uh, vuex store so we can just compare quickly how it differs so what we need to do here is first import define store from pinea and next thing we need to do is just have a variable now this variable generally the nomenclature is using the composable name nomenclature where you have suppose it's a counter store then i can say it's a use counter or use counter store actually there is something like there is a use before the name well it's not necessary that you have to put that use thing but just to make it look like a composable we'll call it use counter and then it will be nothing but define store so here in our Vuex, we have create store, while in Pinia, we have define store. The first parameter here is the name of the store or the ID of that store. Now, these, this ID needs to be unique for all the stores. So I cannot have more than one counter store. So if I name this as counter, I cannot reuse it for other store. So I'll call it counter because there will be just one counter store. And then all our store options. So it includes states, actions, and getters there is no mutation so how it works is let's see so let's begin with the state first now here i had the freedom to uh, like define states as a key value pair straight away but here i have to name it as a function same in vuex also you have to do it as a function as well as like you have a feature there to use it as a key value pair object straight away but here we'll just write it as a function so it will be a state a function which returns whatever states you have now the first state here for me is seconds its initial value is zero so if you see it's similar to options api data where you have data function and then return something here we have state which is returning something next we have actions now this will be list of functions or the list of actions which are the functions again now if you see here we have key which is action name and an arrow function now in pinia if you are writing or pinia if you are writing a function inside actions you cannot write arrow function i'll tell you why so i will write it here trigger counter and then simply like this now the reason we cannot write it as an arrow function because we need as there is no mutations and if you want to change this we have to refer it to this dot second and that this pointer it doesn't work in arrow functions it works in like the pure functions like this or when you if you want to write it as a key value pair then you need to write something like this okay 
so make sure you don't write arrow functions for actions now going back to the normal mode so here what we need to do is here i will have a set interval to increment my counter now what i have to do here is just copy this function and slightly modify it so what we need to do here is here i am having commit which is calling a mutation for vuex but now as we don't have mutation so we'll just remove that line and here i'm gonna say this dot second and sometimes i might pass payload over here but for now as there is no payload so i can simply increment it by one like this now one problem can come here is you will see that set interval is a function like here it's a function in itself and this scope may not work in the nested function so in that case what type what we can do is just take a variable here let's say ac and name it as or give it a value of this and then simply use ac dot seconds now this ac is this which refers to this your yeah, use uh, this defines store options functionalities or more like i can access the state or anything using this pointer of this uh defined store functionalities if i use this over here then it is only limited to the uh, like only the set interval scope so that's the main uh, thing you need to consider if you are using this inside a nested action function it might be difficult to understand at the first glance but if you are aware of this pointer in javascript how it works it's totally similar how it works here as well next we have getters now getters simply functions which are returning certain value so here we will have get second function now this will take in the state parameter and simply do return state dot second okay you can have get seconds as arrow functions that's not a problem but what matters is you cannot use this here you have to refer it to state now let's save this and also export this because we need to import it somewhere so let's export this use counter next in our main.js if we want to use our pina store everywhere in the component like all the components then just import create pina and that will come from Pina. And just use this plugin over here saying use create Pina. That's it. Actually, it's a function, so just need to do it like this. And that's good. So, next thing we need to do is go to the counter.view because that's our component where we are using our store. Now, here we need to make some changes. First, uncomment these three lines over here next we just need to import uh, our store which is this one use counter use counter and that will come from our store pina counter okay now if you notice here i'm not having use store from ux or something like use store from pina no, I just have to straight away or I can straight away get the store, whichever store uh, I want to use straight from, from the store folder file that it refers to. So here my use counter is in this Pina counter file. So I can straight away get that use counter. Then let's call it as our store. So const, let's say store name, let's say counter store and then use counter. Simple. Now, next thing we need to do is here, uh, you can use computed properties for getters, but what I prefer is you can destructure the counter store object. Okay. So what happens is when I write here const counter, sorry, seconds, that's our state name. And uh, what's our getter name? Trigger, sorry, get seconds. Get seconds. Then simply I can say here counter store. Now here is one problem. If I just keep it as it is, it will throw an error because or it won't work as well because this thing is like the counter store is a reactive object. So we need to convert this to ref to make these individual values as reactive. So how to do that? Here we will import store to ref from Pina and then simply here we just have to write store to ref 
and just wrap this counter store inside this store to wraps. One more thing we uh, forgot actually. So here we also need our action. So I'll say const our action name is trigger counter. And that is coming from our counter store. Okay, now here you see I haven't used store to refs because for trigger counter, which is an actions, we don't need to write those store to refs or anything. We don't need it in refs, we need it just as it is. So what I have to do here is just I can use either the state as it is, so seconds dot value or get seconds that value if I want to use the getter function, doesn't matter, whichever you use, that's fine. So here I, here I will say seconds dot value and here instead of dispatch whatnot, I can just simply say trigger counter. That's it. So let's see our store in action. So I'll say npm run dev. Let's go back over here, refresh, and there it is. Our counter is working fine. Now if I go to about at fifth second, great. So working properly. Now at 10 second, I will go back to home. Great, working great. So this is how you can have a simple Pinia store. Of course, you can have multiple stores. You just need to follow the same logic where we have our states, actions. Oh, sorry, this is me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So we have our defined store. We previously was Vuex. So we have our, in Pinia, we have our defined store, state, actions, getters. That's it. We are good to go. And just need to wrap it in a defined store function with the ID of the store name. Uh, patch the value of a state without having to use this trigger counter or the actions. So how to do that? Well, suppose I want to write a function. So let's write a function here. Let's say start counter. Okay. Then all we have to do here is if I go to the documentation here, you will see inside state, you have resetting the state. Inside that you have usage with the options API. So it's kind of like the patch will work in the setup script as well. So that's not a problem. So how to use this patch? So let's see how to do it. So simply, we just need to use the store name. In our case, it's a counter store and then dollar patch and then whatever state we want to increment or decrement. So that set interval function will come inside here and then it will keep on incrementing after certain uh, seconds. So if I have to write it like, uh, so if I have to do it, so I will do something like that, dollar patch. And then here, I just need to write a callback. Same like what we have over here, uh, here, something like this. And then, or we can straight away write the key value pair as well, doesn't matter. So let's stick with the key value pair so that it's not complicated to understand. So key value pair and then simply now my count, uh, it's actually second. So that second state will become seconds plus one. Okay, actually second dot value plus one because we are referring to this one over here. So that being said, next thing we need to do is uh, make it into a set interval function so here we just start the counter so instead of trigger counter so if i go back over here copy this code bring it over here write it over here and here i can just say uh, start counter now let's see how it works so let's go back over here refresh the page so one two three four about five, six, seven, eight, back again, then it works the same, it works in the same thing. Now the good thing here is I have counter component, like the logic of store inside a component and that component is reused. Now, if you are patching this in several uh, components, then you need to write the same logic again and again. So actions are a preferred way to work on the state as well as mutate them. But of course, if you need a quick mutation, you don't need any action. So you can simply use patch. Okay. So that's all about Pinia or Pinia in general. So hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, please. And if you feel this video is worth sharing, please share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel as well. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.